when we left off. We were exploring remote beaches, amazing views, and noisy wildlife on San Miguel Island. We're pulling out of Kyla Harbor here on San Miguel. Behind me is uh, Point Harris. A couple of rocks back there, I think Hair Rock and some other ones. And then off in the distance is actually Point Conception on the mainland. Probably the last big point that people wait for coming south or going north for that matter. You get a lot of winds around that point. So heading south or north, you wait that, wait that weather window out. There's an anchorage on the southern side. And then on the north side of that, you've got Morrow Bay and everything up there. Expecting another big system to start coming in tonight. I think there's a small craft advisory for the next few days and maybe 30 knots coming out of that uh, point tonight. So we're going to move around the southern side here, either of uh, San Miguel or maybe Santa Rosa, but we've got our plan to go to Tyler's Bight on the other side of uh, San Miguel here. Hope that's good. So you can probably hear we're running the engine right now. We have all our sails up. There's light winds, you can probably tell behind me, you can see some really glassy patches with a bit of wind on the water. And we're just coming out around, there's a big little, uh, a big little? There's a, an island right here in the middle of Kyla Harbor at the entrance called Prince Island. And there can be a lot of kelp out around a lot of these islands. And we have light variable winds right now. So we're running the engine just to be safe until we clear this island here. We don't see any reason to kill the engine. It's just running in idle basically in forward gear. I think we're moving at around about three knots, but we're pretty close hauled. The prevailing winds are coming right out of here and we're drifting right onto that island. So always take that into account. Good view of Santa Rosa Island back there in the yes. gap between the two and islands. Santa uh, Cruz over that way. And That's how clear it is. That is Santa Cruz. It is incredibly clear out today. For those of you who know your clouds and marine or even aviation weather probably you might notice all these high wispy clouds in the sky those are supposed to warn of changing weather you can see the winds changing in the upper atmosphere before the weather changes down here After a super windy night last night here at Johnson's Lee, we had gusts coming down every which way out of the different valleys here, blowing Eringa from side to side. It was a very loud, noisy night, but the wind seemed to die off in the middle of the night, and we had a glassy, calm morning. Took the opportunity to go for a paddleboard, check out some of the elephant seals on the beach, and then.
then go out spear fishing in the kelp pier and had some really good fish. We got three fish. I think we have a sheephead, an opal eye, and something else we have yet to ID, but I'm gonna fillet them up here and we have some yummy meals in store. Opal eye? Yeah, it looks much grayer too. Yeah. Mm. Pita bread. We'll see. It's been a while since we've had this. So. Out here on the far side of Santa Rosa Island, we enjoyed the isolation and simple living. There's no cell service out here, and we don't currently have our satellite connection active, so for weather reports, we relied on the NOAA weather radio. San Pedro Channel buoy, swell heights 2 feet, swell buried 11 seconds, sea temperature 60 oh, million degrees. Oh, there's some blue blaze, I think we're going to play. Oceanside offshore buoy, swell heights 2 feet, swell buried 13 seconds, sea temperature 71 degrees. Pressure was 1,013.8 millibars. Perfect pocket grid right there. Out here with no one around, one day bleeds into the next like the sun into the horizon. It's a really nice evening here. It's been actually the last probably four to five days. It's the weather we've been hoping for. It's been clear skies, it's been quite warm. And we hear that the summer actually came a little bit later this year because that fog really hung around quite a bit. And now we've got these beautiful uh, sunsets like you see. And maybe some Santa Ana winds tonight, we're not sure. Uh, we're pretty well protected in here by all these cliffs. Uh, we've got a, a guy here on a Cape George 26, I think. Um, he's pretty close, but he's stern tied along with us, beside us here. So we'll keep an eye on it, but hopefully for a peaceful evening. We've got a pork loin on the barbie, and Hillary's making up some nice veggies to go along with that down below. That's really all there is. As the sun rises behind me here, just came up over a thick marine layer. Los Angeles is in that direction there. And there's been a really thick fog bank out that way. We've been hearing on the radio the last number of days, and I think it's going to continue throughout the uh, next few days as well. Then you can see Anacapa Island over here. And then behind me is, we've got uh, Santa Cruz Island here, which we've been trying to get away from all night long. 
we've basically spent the last six to seven hours drifting, sailing, trying to make our way south. <laughs> we've now just got a bit of wind. The wind will come in for a little bit and then it'll die completely and we haven't been motoring tonight, we've just been wanting to sail. So we just took it as an opportunity to get a bit of rest, get out from the island, a little ways at least. Now there's a f fresh breeze coming in here from the east. The winds are really tricky, we've found in this area here. That you'd expect if you've got some really big mountainous islands right here, which interrupt the flow of weather. So the weather reports are very interesting because this area is supposed to have had about 10 to 15 knots of breeze all night. It hasn't eventuated, it had been nothing. We're just now got maybe a light seven knot breeze on the water. Again, probably out of the east southeast right now for that breeze. Basically, it'd be good to have a little bit of breeze so that we could sail, which we're finally doing. Hillary's down below taking a nap. You can see some of this cloud over the islands. We've got a little breeze here. Hopefully it sticks in. Usually when you come out this, this kind of eastern end of Santa Cruz, there's usually some guaranteed winds to be coming down the channel there. Um, but hopefully we won't need that. It looks like this breeze might be here to stay. It's hard to tell. <clears throat> Sometimes you just kind of get that morning breeze that comes with the sunrise. You get this kind of uh, following breeze and then it dies off, you know, I don't know, 8, 9 a.m., something like that. So. This is our second-ish night at sea for a pretty small crossing, but we've had some really fluky winds. They're pretty good right now, although we've got some kind of mixed swells, which are a bit bothersome. But our plan was to leave last night about 1 a.m., which we did from Santa Cruz Island and make our way south-southeast to either Santa Barbara Island or the backside of Catalina Island, uh, the western side. And we didn't have the wind we were hoping on. We didn't have access to the, the weather radio. We were so close in in the anchorage we were in, so we could only pick up San Diego weather radio, and we couldn't get the full weather report for this area. We did end up getting it for some other people, but the problem with, with this area is, is the winds are just so inconsistent. Um, well, not necessarily inconsistent, but the, the mountains and the, the islands there play kind of a big whatever with it, so. But it's a nice evening. It's, uh, it was mostly a cloudy day though. The, we didn't get any fog. We did have cloud cover for most of it. It's gonna be a nice sunset. Hillary just cooked a delicious dinner of some chorizo on tostadas. We're probably gonna watch a movie here and watch the sunset out there with uh, Santa Barbara Island that we will not get to go to. As the sun set over the Pacific, we were anxious to arrive at Catalina Island the following morning. But more on that next time. Thanks so much for watching. 
If you enjoyed, please remember to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. You can even consider joining our patron Adrift Crew. Until next time!